Okay, guys, in today's video, I just made, I uh, just did a quick setup of a thorns area build. So I'm going to open up this chest and I've got all the gear for thorns. I wanted to try out if thorns can actually steal items off enemies. So we're going to try that out. And also seeing if upgrading armor makes you do more thorns damage or reduces damage. I'm going to assume it would reduce the damage to your back because you have more defense. So you take less damage, but we'll find that one out. So let's grab everything. I also have a bunch of liquid rage, boss crit smoothies, extra health, and trickle regen. And then the, of course, thorns meal whatever you want to call it so let's retrieve all of that i also have thorns pendant just in case the mutations i'm gonna be doing just straight crit steal item just so i can steal an item off an enemy if it's even possible and then sour sensation and then we're gonna have javelinia i completely forgot javelinia have has got a buff as well i think thorns got buffed by six times so every single thorns thing got buffed a crap ton so we're going to find out if it actually does anything let's go ahead and eat our meal so we now have pinkle shift thorns pebble spear once we attack we have thorns let's get everything out of this chest i just got back and got more smoothies because i realized i am going to take damage all right now that we're buffed up we're going to start off with a ladybird so let's start off with her so we need to hit her okay i didn't even hit her once and that's how much damage we did so let me just stab her again to get our thorns damage okay so it took her three hits and she died okay cool let's try roly poly i think roly poly is gonna a decent amount of damage that's not its most powerful attack yet it's this one right here doing a decent amount of damage okay i'm gonna do a, a one attack again almost killing him so currently we have four hits that so takes five hits to kill him let's go ahead and try an ant line now so here he is let's stab him once I'm not going to assume these, it would do a lot of damage because they don't hit heavy. They don't have very heavy hitters, but surprisingly, Thorns is doing some damage. And I'm not even using maxed out armor. Okay, and then we got our Blackhawks Beetle for our last one. I'm not sure if um, the rock does damage to me. It doesn't seem to be a lot of damage. Labor got destroyed. Yeah, okay, I don't think... I have a feeling that Thorn Steel Un does not work on on this guy. Let's take in maybe eight hits. He's dead here. Maybe eight hits for the Black Ox. So far, the like Thorns is really good against Ladybirds for some reason. Let's try that one again. Thorns is like really good against Ladybirds. Like, look at the amount of damage this did to him. Three hits and he's dead. So maybe Thorns is good against ladybirds if anything so steel item does not work now we're going to try it with the bulky set we've still got 30 seconds of our buff so we'll just try on the ladybird because ladybird is okay you do not want to upgrade your gear with thorns at all as shown here it's going to take five hits for it to die with thorns you do not want to upgrade your black ant armor set if you want to do the max amount of damage so I'm going to say Thorns is actually pretty decent, not going to lie. Now we're going to try it on the bosses. So I've just got all the bosses besides the Wasp Queen and the System Manager and Director Schmecter. So let's try the Mant out. Now I don't think the Mant is going to do a lot of damage to us. Unless he does his four hit combo later down the track. Okay. That did a chunk of damage. So the explosive attack is probably what you want to go for. Yeah, so the explosion attack does a lot of damage to him, but other than that, nothing else. We still got damage off for a while, so let's go ahead and try the Mantis, because I know the Mantis does a lot of damage. When I previously tried Thorns, it did a lot of damage, but this time we will have a healing debuff. Yeah, see, Thorns is really good against the Mantis still, but we are running out of smoothies very quickly. That somehow did no damage to us. We do have damage reduced now, which is probably why we're taking less, we're doing less damage to it. But yeah, it's the reduced damage that's really stuffing us up here. And even though we have a four second timer for our smoothies, I thought this would ruin the build, but it's actually somehow doing worse. Just like that, he's dead. Honestly, Thorns is still kind of good for the Mantis. Like I didn't use a lot of smoothies against that either. And this time I'm going to do it on the Infected Broodmother. Now, the Infected Broodmother is going to be very hard because of you her phases and her healing debuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and fight her. See, we're doing somewhat damage, but... 
It's still, we're still getting that debuff. Is it going to be worth it in the long run? And then you get poisoned as well. So there's phase one. But I think phase two is going to be the hardest. As it... She really doesn't do a lot of damage in phase two. Okay, the so Thorns is not good against phase two of the Infected Brumella. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll kill her until we get to phase three. So I'll catch you guys in just a second. Okay, so we just got her down to a second phase. Now we're going ahead and drink our rest of the smoothies. We already have it buffed up, so we should be fine here. Mutations are fine. All right, here we go. Phase three. Um, no. No, it's not. So after dying like maybe four times, it, it can somehow work, but... Okay, well there goes our entire Thorns armor set. Okay, so obviously Thorns against the Infected Brumilla. It does not work. Okay, so to be completely honest, um, I genuinely think Thorns is good against, like, bulky creatures. Let's try us on Woe Mode now. Let's see if this, um actually changes anything. I'm assuming it's not really going to because it's just gonna be the exact same amount of damage. It's, I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be the exact same, but we can try, always try it out. We'll try it on the ladybird because that's the most reliable. Okay, the ladybird's gonna take three hits. The so enemies do a lot, it's... Moe mode is just a lot faster, but you are taking a lot more damage as you should. Blackhawk's gonna one charge. So maybe thorns on Moe mode's like the best thing to do. So that took him four hits. Let's just try the Mantis. Like our final tester should be the Mantis. Decent damage. Woe mode Mantis and Thorns actually destroys him. It is seriously really good, but it's also extremely risky. So in my honest opinion, Thorns, Woe mode, I mean, Thorns in any mode is going to be good, but Woe mode is going to be a lot better because you're taking more damage, so you're dealing more damage back, but it's also more riskier, so pros and cons, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's still not the it's still not the best. They've buffed it and they've made it better, but in that case, it's pretty much in the exact same place as it was before. I don't see anyone in their right mind going out and using a Thorns build just because it got buffed. Like, I don't see any, like, builds with it unless you're doing the entire Black Ant, I would say, Javelinia, and everything Thorns. Like, I don't really see, like, it being incorporated into anything. So, Thorns is okay. But thank you all so much for watching and thank you so much for all the support on the channel recently we've we've gotten like maybe 300 subs in the past like maybe a couple of weeks so i really appreciate that and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next video